This student is never charged with the crime he's accused of committing, but that doesn't stop the university from kicking him out of school. That is the crux of a lawsuit that says UC not only violated his rights, but is biased against him because of his gender. Local 12's Anjanette Levy joins us from UC with more details on the student's claim. Hi, Anjanette. Hi, Cammie. This is the federal lawsuit that Ethan Fallow filed against the University of Cincinnati. In it, he claims that the UC Police Department did a thorough investigation, but he says university administrators were actually biased against him because of his gender since he was accused of assaulting two female students. Ethan is a fine young man. Uh, he's never been in trouble in his life. He loved going to the University of Cincinnati. Attorney Mike Allen represents Ethan Pello. Last March, Allen says two female students invited Pello to this dorm for sex. The next day, Allen says the students claim Pello raped them. UC police investigated. They did present it to the grand jury, and the grand jury returned a no bill, which means we don't believe this guy did it. Uh, that wasn't enough for the University of Cincinnati. Despite being cleared by the grand jury, UC held a hearing claiming Pello violated the student code of conduct and sought to have him kicked out of school. Allen says Pello wasn't allowed to defend himself. If you want to kick my client out of UC, fine. But you better afford him a fair hearing with due process. And they didn't do that, and that's why we're in federal court. The lawsuit claims university officials had a bias against Ethan Pello because he was a male accused of assaulting two women. Allen says that violates Title IX, which bars institutions that get federal funding from discriminating on the basis of sex. UC issued this statement. The University of Cincinnati takes seriously our obligations under Title IX and makes every effort to ensure that our campus is safe for all students, faculty and staff, and our processes respect the rights of all students. Meanwhile, Mike Allen says Ethan Pello wants his name cleared. This young man who's just starting out his life cannot have on his permanent academic record that he was thrown out of a major public university for sexually assaulting two women when he didn't do it. And Ethan Pello's future at the University of Cincinnati is very unclear tonight. His attorneys got a restraining order to prohibit the university from kicking him out of school, but it's still unclear at this point whether he'll be back here in the fall. Reporting live from the UC campus, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Cami? All right, Anjanette, thank you. And a court date for the lawsuit has not yet been set, but we've posted the entire lawsuit on our website for you to read. Just log on to local12.com.